Hey you. Do you remember factions? The, the, the frick is factions? Wait, you seriously don't remember factions? Oh boy, how do I explain this other than that it scarred a whole generation of gamers, including myself, for a lifetime? You think times are hard now? Imagine playing 20 hours a day because you don't want your base you spend months on to get raided. That whole idea of having a personal life evaporated the second your pride urged you for violence. <sighs> Wouldn't it be great if that came back? God, no, that, that sounds horrible. I wasn't asking! Ah! Welcome to Lifesteal. It's crazy that now we actually... Oh, on a public server? Uh, uh, but no, why are you giving me your stuff? No, you need this. You guys have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Get out of here while you still can! Shiba Bia! Get out of here! Do you know what the server this is? This is a deadly server! God, y'all are gonna be traumatized. Welcome to life, so it's a Pia game mode filled with glory and fighting and treachery. Here, if you kill someone, you steal one of their hearts. However, you die, well, you lose one. So let's test it out on this guy. <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him! Get- I just got a heart. Well done. Maybe you'll last after all. I, I literally just killed an AFK guy. What do you mean? You know what, Mr. NPC? I, I take it back. I know that was his pre-scripted dialogue and all, but it means a lot that you believe in me. Here I go. Wish me luck. And so, with my false sense of confidence, I embarked on my journey to the treacherous lands of lifesteal, oblivious to the dangers that would lie before me. Which turned out to literally be none because there's nobody here. What the heck? Where? Where is everybody? I was kind of expecting a bunch of people to show up, but no, there's like nobody here, huh? So... This is a board that separates the laws of men to the planes of anarchy. I suppose beyond this point, it's kill or be killed. Anyways, here we go. You gotta use the roads, yo. Oh, wait, there's, hold on. You get speed? Okay, apparently you get speed for traveling on the road. Gotta love public transportation. Now, for those that are asking why there are just random roads in the wild, well, to get to places, obviously. Idiot. No, but in all seriousness, basically the server contains big structures dispersed around the map that are known as points of interest. All you need to know about them is that they got some crazy good loot. The only problem is that something tells me I'm not the only one with that idea. There's just loot here on the ground. Meaning someone else is going to the POI. And considering the fact that's a POI right over there, there's definitely got to be someone inside. I think the plan is rush in here, stealthily, get the loot. Don't let anybody else see us. We're in the shadows. Where's the loot? <gasps> Why is there so many loot chests in this one room? I'm rich. Is this normal? I'm saying this as someone who made this server. Is this normal? Why am I getting so many stuff? I'm rich. I got an LA. I got a potion of invincibility. I could probably do something funny with that. I, 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 I'm just getting debated right now. Buddha, we're noticing some bugs already, but it's fine. It's fine. We keep going. It's fine. It's fine. <gasps> ah, it's an ambush. Why is there lag? Wait, no. What? He's just not taking knockback. What is this? Oh, how do I leave this place? Help! 911. That's not how I leave. Oh, I got an idea. Stealth. See you, loser. No, that can't be good. Oh, there's a cooldown approach. I forgot about this. Aha. Oh, he, he just ran through the cobweb. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get out of here. Have a good day. Wait, hold on. I got an idea. If I'm smart about this, I can actually get back to the outpost in time. We're getting back to the outpost. That's a safe zone. He pulled on me! He knows! I don't have any pearls left. Oh, God! No! <laughs> don't let me die. Wait, hold on. Wait, this is the safe zone, isn't it? <gasps> I think we made it back. I think we made it back. Did we make it back? Did we make it back? We made it back! Yes! Screw you! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Are we friendly now? <laughs> Shift dancing time? Yeah. This is the face of the man that thought he'd be my assassin? What a loser! <laughs> If I hadn't made it back to the outpost, perhaps he would have prevailed. Which is beyond embarrassing. For years, I've built up a reputation of someone not to mess or trifle with, and then this guy comes along, thinking he can kill me as if death beckons to him. As I reflected in the aftermath of the chase, it became apparent that if I don't get stronger, I will drown in the swarms of players that are looking to improve as well. Already hundreds are on the server. If I don't get loot fast, I'd fall behind. I thought the answer to my problems as usual would be to partake in capitalism to buy better gear. So I visited the auction house, but even there, I'm somehow falling behind. People are already selling stuff. They got notch gas for 40k? I do actually kind of need a gap. I need pearls actually. 99k? How the frick are we dealing with inflation one day into the launch of the server? God, this is worse than the Weimar Republic. I was able to list some stuff I got from the mansion, but really all that afforded me was a single iron sword and some ingots, which in hindsight, I could have just gone from like, two minutes of mining then again i don't have time for that i'm a content creator you expect me to do laborious tasks no 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 this is gonna sound obvious but uh basically in order to afford anything good we first have to make some money so um back to the wild we go you know i think I, i'm good to go i just gotta find a good place oh wow what is this road 
Who designed this place? Wait a minute. God, this is agony. I've been training for like 10 minutes. Surely it's gotta be faster way, right? <gasps> yes! Finally! Horse! Alright, let me tame you, please. Don't resist. Alright, perfect. Oh, and this guy's fast, I think. Hello? 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 I need this horse to get outside the road. Apparently you can't tame horses when they're on the road, which is kind of annoying. Come on, come on. I'll even- I'll, I'll even give your name. I'll call you Hilbert. This is just not worth it. I- I am- I am freaking out. Hold on, couldn't a gapple work? I'm an idiot! I could've used gapples the entire time! I forgot that was a mechanic. I'm such an idiot, I forgot I had one. Ah, oh, we did it! We got a horse. Alright. Yeah, slightly faster- and it's an ocean right here. Are you serious? All that time I spent getting a horse and there's a freaking ocean?! You gotta be kidding me, man. It just stops. Oh. Uh-oh. That was weird. Ah, but hold, hold on. I got a combat tag? For being in a POY. But I'm in the middle of the ocean, what? Hold on, what? Oh my god! Alright, I, I gotta get up to there. I, I'm gonna freaking suffocate. I'm gonna drown. Okay, so this entire thing is a POI. Got it. Wait, I actually got a huge idea. Wait, I'm a genius. Wait, so since the POI is right over there, right? What I'm thinking, what if I set up an underwater base, like, you know, get to the monument and back? Therefore, I could just not worry about drowning? Oh, and there's even random air pockets down here. Sweet. Wait, can I build here? Oh, all right. I found a perfect place for a base. I'll just like build a base from the cave. Now, most servers who claim land, you gotta grab some shovel and mark out the corners, but on here it's different. All I need to do is just grab a chest, grab a door, bada bing, bada boom. I get a claim chest and I place that bad boy down. Now this place is mine. Now we just gotta do a super cliche montage. Hey man, can you like frick off? Oh, there's iron we needed. Places here. Look at me. I got like a room. So there is one more thing I should probably mention about claims that's slightly important. See, this server wants to be super hyper realistic that it implemented a rent system. As if real life wasn't stressful enough, now I need to pay rent on my property in video games. All right. Well, I, I guess that's a perfect segue into looting the monument. Time to go for the super monument. Ba, 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 ba. Huh. Oh, this is just not gonna work. My plan may be backfiring, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, hold on, there are like waterlogged blocks. Can I use those? Oh, wait. Okay, no backing out now. Hold on, wait, maybe I could use those blocks. Hold on. Wait, it's actually like air bubbles. There's air bubbles. Huh, thank God. I'm not gonna die. Huh, we're going in. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, there's a lot of air block. Hold on, I didn't even need to make my base. Yeah, I can just like hide in this little like nook and then just heal up. Oh god, I'm starting to fear this place has been looted in the time it took me to build that base. No. Wait, no, I see something. Wait, 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 hold on. <gasps> There's a chest down there, guys. We found one. <gasps> yes. All right, let's see what we get. This is literally garbage. Sure, there's gotta be better stuff, right? We found the jackpot, guys. All right, garbage. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Six obby, Death Strider. Okay, this one sucked. I probably should, you know, study the loot tables, because that just was not worth it whatsoever. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I kind of forgot where the base was. I may actually- Oh, shoot. I may actually die right here. 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 I- Guys. 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 Huh. Huh. You know what? Never doubted myself for a second. Once more, I headed back to spawn to auction off the scraps, this time hoping that it at least was worth enough to pay off my upkeep for a few hours at the least. The truth is, it's not enough. I'm still stuck in poverty. I mean, look over here. My walls are made of stone. All I got is this one thing holding me together. Sure, maybe I got some hearts, but besides that, I am a broken man. A bit later into day one, I got on a call with my friends Wreck Ramp and Force of It to vent about my frustrations and not having made any real progress on the server yet, which is when they just simply responded by saying they went to the points of interest. So obviously I was left completely perplexed because everyone I've gone to has either already been looted or was worthless. But to my disbelief, there's actually a strategy in mind when looting them. See, there are seven unique points of interest in the world. Each one is different from the last and what some people may not know is that they all vary in difficulty and loot. Half of them are easier to traverse at the expense of having worse stuff, but then there are specifically those that offer vast amount of riches for whoever claims them. So long story short, I've been playing the system all wrong. Have I actually been sabotaging for myself? All right, so this is a great pyramid, which is one of the structures that are rumored to be actually good. So, um, here goes nothing. And can I just take a moment to talk about how annoying these husks are? Like, I've been hitting them for like two minutes. And they, they just take forever to die. What is this? There, we, we took care of the problem. 
Okay. Interesting. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh my god, we got a villager spawn egg. Wait, that's actually huge. Do I hear breaking the economy? Question mark? Oh my god, I just... Okay, I just... I just got diamonds. What? Why are there so many? Why are there so many? Whoa. Oh, parkour, parkour, parkour. Ah! Why are there so many? Why are there so many? Why are, why are there so many zombies? And there's skeletons up there. Okay. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. You know what? I'm just gonna play it safe and leave. You know, I, I got the stuff I need. We, we, we shouldn't risk it. Now, having the ability to obtain a plethora of better stuff was good and all, but I'm not about that lifestyle, you see. I, I'm in this for the long game. From the pyramid, we ended up getting a few items that are crucial to establishing a passive income allowing us to finally achieve financial freedom and escape the rat race once and for all. Starting with this. Mwah. A skeleton spawner. I'm hoping that this, the spawn works. I have... I, I need the money. See, I wish I could say that there are better ways of making money, but the truth is violence is just super efficient, okay? My one excuse is that these guys are technically already dead since they're skeletons, and, you know, it's like they say, what is dead may never die, so, uh, surely I win some morals back from that, right? Anyhow, this single spawner will allow us to produce roughly 2,000 coins an hour when optimized, so considering the current state of the economy, it means we can maybe buy two enderpearls in about... Two days. Look, I said passive income, not fast income. But now we just gotta wait for these to spawn so we start making something. Not gonna lie, these are kind of taking a while to spawn. Why aren't they spawning? In addition to killing somewhat innocent creatures, we do have a few more ways of making money. One of them being by capitalizing on free labor. His name is Oat, and he does not have rights. But if you thought slavery and genocide wasn't profitable enough, well, do I have something even better? Cactus. I know it ain't as interesting as the other options, but I'm not kidding. This single plant made empires back in the OG days of factions. To properly optimize it, we'd have to probably build a farm that reaches the sky limit, but for now, I'm sure planting some in my living room will do us just fine. Now, with my economic infrastructure finally up and running, I'll admit, I've been a bit curious about something. See, the guy said that the Great Pyramid we got stuff from was, believe it or not, not even the greatest structure on the server. There's one more out there that's even more OP. It's called called the stronghold. So if this is how profitable the pyramid is, I'm kind of curious of what, you know, the stronghold will contain. So while the passive income is generating, we might as well go and check it out. Hold up, his name is actually Cactus. So, okay, that's gotta be a sign. This is Lifesteal. You know what you got into when you joined the IP, all right? You know what you got into. Do not jump in the water. You jumped in the water, okay. Okay, I think they're just trying to run away. What? Did they drown? I mean, hey, look at that, free heart. <laughs> I mean, hey, 12 hearts, day one, not, not terrible. Guys, I think we found it. It's a stronghold. This looks very ominous, but this may or may not be the strongest POI in the server. So obviously I went down into the catacombs hoping for more spawners, but uh, sadly it turned out to be mostly looted, so it was kind of a bust. I was hoping I could probably find some more spawners in here, but I'll be real, most of it was looted. I I'm assuming players came around here earlier, but as I was about to leave, I just randomly saw this hologram behind the stairs and oh boy, huh, okay, we're definitely coming back here. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is a kid spying on me. Do I hear heart 13? You're gonna have to die. You're gonna have to die, man. You're gonna have to die. What? Did... You tried to combat log? Okay, so I just want to point something out. See, typically on live to another service, right? Because there's no, like, plugin in place, people can just kind of combat log and think they're safe. I stand corrected. Disregarding whatever voodoo magic that was, I think I'm just gonna stop by the base real quick to check on the farms. Whoa! Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Guys, don't panic. Guys, I told you not to panic. <laughs> what the heck? How'd they find me? I mean, besides the fact I'm streaming to like a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, I just want to point out the fact that I've been streaming this entire time. So yeah, these nerds literally just trace the exact path I took from the outpost to my base. Wait, hold on. That guy doesn't even have armor. Oh, that guy does. Redoon's VC? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna fall for that one. I got an idea. It's stupid. But if it works, it'll be very funny. Oh, they heard it. Hold on. Wait. Charge! Charge! Get him! Oh, shit. Get him! Wait, there's two of them? Oh, 
All right. He's going inside my base. What? We got to protect though. Come on, come on. Patch it up. Patch it up. Patch it up. Ha! <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, they're warping in more people. No. How many people are there out there? There's like four. And so I'm surrounded by enemies on all sides. Was this it? Were they about to break in, take my spawn and my villager, my farms, my loot, everything I've worked for this entire freaking day? No. I won't give up. We can't let them get out. That's when I kind of saw my salvation. See, little did I know, I actually have friends. Some of them were actually watching my stream, so they teleported to try to help me. He got the whole army. I got a whole army on my side. Yes. Yes. All right, boys. You guys ready? What the car tell me. Charge. Get him. Wait, what happened to the other guys? Oh, they're running. Wait. No, one of the two of them left. Dude, they're dipping. They're dipping. This is what now. you get for trying to kill out, you fiend! You. Yo, we're gonna drown, we're gonna drown, get the fuck out of here. Oh shoot, you're right, wait. Don't drown! Come back, we're right! Uh, my only weakness. Wait, I killed him! He drowned! I win! <laughs> that was very cool, besides for the fact that I think the other guys realized what we were doing and dipped. Yeah, I think the guys with the gear just dipped because they were... <laughs> yeah, they saw the army and got scared, cowards. Okay, I'll be real. That fight was super anticlimactic, considering the fact that the entire opposing team just decided to dip. Kind of a coward move, I'm not gonna lie, but oh well. What are you gonna do? But um, can we just take a moment to talk about the fact that these guys just showed up to help me and didn't immediately kill me and take all my stuff? Perhaps there is room for alliance and camaraderie within the madness. Haven't taken care of the problem. Uh, I, I think this is a perfect opportunity to bring up the fact that if you look at my heart bar, you may notice that that last kill didn't actually give me a 14th heart. Instead, I got something in my inventory called a decaying heart. Now, what makes these different than a normal heart is that I actually gotta bring this one all the way back to spawn, and then talk to this guy called the heart collector and turn it in, and then bam, I get something called a heart fragment. Afterwards, you're able to spend it on a wide spread of perks and player upgrades, which over time will allow me to become a stronger and more capable opponent to my enemies. Starting with getting one additional heart now, putting me at 14. Now to achieve true immortality of reaching 20 hearts, one would have to journey long through a trail of bloodshed. For you see, with each additional heart upgrade, the price multiplies. By the time we get to the 20th, we'd most likely have to kill over 100 players. But is that truly what it takes to survive, to be stronger and unrivaled? Would I have to sink into the pits of Dante's Inferno, jeopardizing all my past ethics and morals to be doomed to a life to be hated by all for simply small marginal amounts of health? Without a question. And so I sat out to hunt other players down, so I too could become a man of status, starting with the local fresh spawns. Oh, he's a newbie. He can't hear me because he's a he's a noob. He, he just joined the server, that's hilarious. I legit just took that man's spawner and diamonds and dipped. Okay, that man wants to attack me. It's not worth the fight, man. I, I feel bad for the kid, you know? All right, fine, fine, fine. If you, fine, you know what? Fine. If you want to die, sure. Okay, there. We good now? We, we... We good? Here, tell you what. You can give this back to your friend. Tell your friend it's from Uncle Radoons. Take that. It, you can give it to him. You, oh, wait, you can't... You're new. You can't even pick it up. <laughs> you, you want some hearts? You want some hearts, man? <laughs> and as I wandered through the lands of Live Seal, eventually I came across a familiar structure, the Woodland Mansion. Last time I was here, I got bullied and beaten to the curb by another player, but this time I entered with no fear. Oh, I also met this guy who has been following me for some reason, but he seems chill, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let him join me. Having come back to this abomination of a structure, I knew what had to be done. I need to go in there and become the bully of others, as I have once been the victim myself. How the turns finally table. Wait, no, that that doesn't sound right. How the tables finally turn. All right, wait, there's someone. There's a player up there. Do you understand? I don't know if he understands, but it's fine. We'll, we'll go and kill him. We'll go and kill the Ben Rock guy up there. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. All right, stand against the corner. Message. Cryptic bro. Gib stuff. Gib stuff. Drop him. He knows he's gonna die otherwise. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you know what? We let him live. He can live. Thank you, thank you. Come on, Hunter. Come on. Have a good day, sir. Dude, this structure is so big, I generally don't know where I am. In a future update, we're definitely gonna have to invest in more exit ways to the POIs, because I just don't know where I am. Oh, it's, oh Cryptic's in my chat. I can show you right- Okay, Cryptic, show, show me where the exit is, man. I believe in you. I'm also trying to get out. Okay, we're all lost. At least we're all in it together. Got it. Maybe if we signal, I'm going like, help! Help! 
we're stuck. Cryptic found it. Cryptic, where, where is it? Where is it, Cryptic? Where are you? Oh, he found it. Okay, come on, Nunter. We're getting out of here. Where was it? It was around the corner the entire time. Okay. Some say that if we lived in anarchy, we'd be nothing different to animals. Once, as in not even minutes ago, even I believed so. But witnessing this exchange of teamwork to find our way out of this labyrinth between me, Cryptic, and Hunter, I now realize the defining trait between chaos and order is not laws, but our acts. This moment defines that regardless of our environment, there is hope for a better world. So I gave Cryptic back some of the stuff we robbed from him, realizing it was time to break this cycle once and for all. I also happened to actually meet the guy who attempted to raid my base earlier that I killed and gave him back some of his stuff as a gesture of goodwill and hoping there were no hard feelings. I know this is probably too wholesome for an anarchy server, but I need a good emotional point of reflection in this video to truly experience a hero's journey, alright? So as I end my day, I came to the conclusion that anarchy isn't so bad when instead of seeing everyone as an enemy, he tried to work together and make something better from the ashes of hatred. I spent some last moments looting points of interest with the same guys who had came to my aid earlier, and I'm pleased to say that I've finally made some allies. But having gotten some stuff, perhaps it was time to conclude my first day of lifesteal as a success. Yep, goodbye. See ya. Bob. Wait, you must have an active claim to run this command. God damn it! Remember all that stuff I said about making this world a better place? Yeah, I think all that back. Son of a bitch!